Hi turtle. Hi turtle. Hello. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Bye turtle. What is up, players? It is War Boss Tay up in this mug, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It is June thirtieth, the last day of our warm up before the July painting challenge, and I thought, hey, I'll pop open this box of Kriegsman and show you guys what I'm going to be doing. And then now that I'm looking at them, oh boy, oh boy! So there's a lot of stuff still in bags over here. <clears throat> but this is also going to double as my warm-up video to show you my painting area. So let's take a look at the painting area first before we get into the last part. Got my wet palette, brand new, parchment paper. And I think this is the clamshell from the Chaos Lord, uh, Space Marine Chaos Lord. I've got the paints that I know I'm going to be using. The, the trouble with me is that once I start using paints and I just leave them on the table and it adds and more and more and then there goes all my space. So I try to keep only so many paints here on the table, the rest I have put onto a paint shelf in my trusty camera. Here's one of my two lights. The other one is up here. Here we see water cups. Uh, spray primer, I usually keep all my primers off the table, but I think I was using that earlier for something else. Uh, paint brushes and all sorts of doodads and hoo-hahs. Usually I use my weathering, I keep whatever like transfer Micro solid, micro set over there. Plastic glue, the boys watching, and any other fur further projects or whatever that I want to do, I usually throw off to the side like that, kind of like waiting in the wings. But let's take a look at oh my god, look at all these Death Corp Creek. All right, so I'm going to just read you <laughs> what I know I have to do for July. And I thought I was kind of ambitious last year. There's probably no way I'm going to finish this all by the end of July, but I thought, you know, you guys deserve to have me try something that's totally crazy and totally unbelievably just wacky, whacked out. And so we'll see what gets done by the end of July, by the end of July. So not, like I said, not everything is on the table. You've still got some stuff in baggies over there, but I'm going to read a list of everything that I'm going to be committing myself to do. And you can see there's some of my own guys that I've painted in the front and then the unpainted ones in the back. Also, you will notice some empty bases over here. There are some weapon crews that are go on those. Going to go on those. Right now, they are empty though. Okay, so let's uh, let, me, let me zoom out so I don't make anyone seasick, and I will read and point to the relevant pieces. We've got 130 infantry with las guns, four plasma guns, ten melted guns, six heavy mortars. Okay, so some of these are regular mortars, I think. Um, in fact, no, I know that most of these are, are regular mortars. I have the heavy mortars, are a lot of them are in baggies over there. We've got two LAS cannon teams over there in the back. You can see those. Um, uh, two auto cannon teams, rather. Nine LAS cannon teams. I got to build those up. Six regular mortars. I think that's these guys over there. Um, ten death. Death Riders and the Commissar. So we've got five of the ten in the back, the other five in baggies, and another Commissar Bane on Princess Twilight Sparkle. You've got six Commissars or Countess Commissars, those guys over there. You've got two Forge, work, Forge World Commissars right over there. One Quartermaster and Retinue. Awesome, awesome. When War Tiger and Talibras did these last year, I, I just fell in love with this group of models. That's the Quartermaster and the Retinue. We've got five out of the ten engineers built 